See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. And we're live. Welcome back to part 55 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in epilogue 2. John and Rachel are at Dewberry Creek for some reason, far from home, like Peter Parker. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We better give the Lichfield a clean, because as long as we're here, we might as well do a quick patrol. Camp over here. Looks like some hostels. John better investigate. This a friendly camp. You look friendly. Someone's coming. Good evening, gentlemen. Routine camp inspection. Hey, I see you there. Turn on your heels, son. Gotcha. So I'll just go then. That's right, you cur. Kick dust to get. Okay, we have our answer. Let's go to work. Maybe we all have a little tussle. Damn. John is trying something new, and we shall leave one alive. You best think of what you're doing now. Peace and quiet. You don't got any objections. What's in here? Here we go. And a free hat. I know you guys like hats. Can't really tell what it is in this light. A platinum pocket watch. These camps are a great source for watches if you need one for Lenny's request. Here is a gold pocket watch.
John needs to shoot that kettle. Also that box that we cannot access. Wash basin. John also needs to shoot these pots. And an apple for the horse. Thank you. You comfortable? Let that be a lesson for you, son. Perhaps you should find a better class of friends. Surround yourself with successful people who lift you up, rather than losers who pull you down. And we got a military officer's hat. We can take a closer look with photo mode. Looks okay, I guess, but you know I'm very picky about hats. You got this, darling. Let's move on. And back on our side of the map, Tumbleweed seems peaceful, for now. Alright folks, we is over. However, that bird is looking ominous. We better use a bow so as not to upset the good citizens of Tumbleweed. He is soaring out of range. Looks like a shotgun incendiary situation now that we are out of town. Much better. In addition to fighting crime and defending the innocent, another part of our mandate involves ridding New Austin from the Condor invasion. Let's move on. John wants to explore that house by the stables. Oh! Partner!
Tennessee Walker over here. My sister's family just gave up and left town. Seems every week another family goes. Well, that's the way these things go. Y'all all right? Good morning, sir. Good morning, good citizens of Tumbleweed. Routine lock inspection. This lock seems to be working. Sometimes I wonder how any of us cope. Yeah? Can't look through the windows, however, those are some nice lace curtains. <laughs> Nothing around the back, except for that magnificent view. Going to church? It's the only happy moment of my week. How do you like to wake up to that every morning? And no access to this storm cellar. I really wish we could climb up here. And what's that up on the roof? A weather vane. There's some sickness going hey, on mister. in Armadillo. Mm -hmm. You better start behaving right around here. I just got one of those faces. Are you thinking what John is thinking? John is wondering if he could hit that thing. He is also wondering if the ensuing witness disturbing the peace charge would be worth it. I believe it would. We have the Springfield. Mister? Here we go. Oh. That was fun. And here comes the inevitable witness. We better leave town until things calm down. Sir! There is a loot box over here. A gold nugget, that's convenient. And the map. West of the E of New Austin, almost exactly between Gaptooth Breach and Benedict Point.
Dan DeCamp. Interesting. A wild American paint, more interesting. John is always distracted by the wild horses. Hey, hello. Ah, come on there. That's not very friendly. Hey, I ain't gonna hurt you. Buddy. How do you do? Okay, move along, horsies. That's my lady. There is another camp across the tracks. He has a gold Palomino Tennessee Walker. This camper looks agitated. He may need assistance. Good afternoon, sir. Routine camp inspection. Get your own camp. And we're far from here. Get lost, will ya? I'm sorry. Didn't realize you didn't like visitors. What are you talking about? I'll shoot you like a sick hound. Not very hospitable. You need a timeout, sir, to think about your actions and life choices. Go! Relax. An interesting setup. This tent doesn't seem like it would work. Somebody help! And John needs to shoot that frying pan. You're coming with me! Can we put him in his wagon? That would be a no. However, we need to get him out of the way because it's time to start over on this camp. This tent is not working for John. You need to build a better one. Also, these lanterns are fire hazards. God, help me. Let that be a lesson to you, sir. Carry on. Good girl.
crazy. That's my lady. Danger bird over here. And it turned out to be a northern cardinal, perhaps the complete opposite of a condor. John may have a problem. Don't tell Abigail. And this is one of my favorite locations in Mexico, or at least across the river from Mexico. Pretty sure that was a condor. Fishermen over here. We better announce ourselves. Sir! Hey there! Good afternoon, sir. Routine condor inspection. Carry on. John hates condors. No one knows why. He may be afraid of them. Let's see if we can get a closer look at that rock formation. The Diablo del Ojo, or Eye of the Devil. We can get over there in Undead Nightmare. Here is an old Instagram post. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast-related content, and our Discord. And the map. We are here. And the Diablo del Ojo is right about here. Let's move on. You did your usual. <laughs> Good job. More wild horses. You're not so friendly, is you? A flaxen chestnut Hungarian, an old favorite. Now, why'd you do that? Don't, you don't need to do that. Another view of the Eye of the Devil, 
I really wish there was something over there that we could shoot from here. Moving on. And even more horses. Now where are you off to? Is that an American paint? You're not so friendly, is you? A buttermilk buckskin. That has to be the dirtiest buttermilk buckskin in the game, or a glitch. Either way, John needs to investigate. Let's go get him. Now, why'd you do that? Nah! Come on, there! How are you, my friend? Look at you! More like a leopard buttermilk buckskin. Now let's have a look at you. Nice and easy. And it does appear that he is a very dirty buttermilk buckskin. Perhaps he fell down. Regardless, he needs our help. Easy. <laughs> That's it. easy. Come on. No. -uh. Stop. We'll get on, won't we? Well done, John. If you are having difficulty taming horses in this game, practice on easy horses like this one or a Morgan or a Tennessee Walker. <laughs> this good boy needs a lot of brushes and an apple. You're a good boy. Good lad. That is so much better. You're all right. <laughs> Good boy. What happened to Rachel? <laughs> And that condor is looking at John funny.
Now Rachel needs help getting off the rocks. You okay, girl? Let's go. Okay, we got that buttermilk to level 1, and now he is our responsibility. We shall fast travel to Blackwater and find him a good home. Back in Blackwater, where's that buttermilk? He spawned behind this fence, safe and sound. Let's get him to the stables and find him a forever home. Also note that lovely pink sunset. Hey, where are you headed, mister? Need a ride? Have a good evening. Good looking horse there. And the stable will give us 480 for him, but it's not about the money. It's never about the money. It's all about the horses. I can't give you much. I've been burned before. The Blackwater stable has some of the best horses in the game for sale. A Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Fox Trotter. John doesn't like that breed. Always reminds him of Arthur. A Dark Bay Turcoman. and a rose gray Arabian. Very pretty, and John does look good on these smaller horses. Take care of that nag. Come back and see me. That's my girl. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. We may be seeing a rose gray Arabian in our future. John doesn't want to say. On Mondays, we Marston. I'll see you in part 56. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Hello, miss. Hey, big boy. <laughs>